After World War II, the economy had more highly skilled labor force. When the men returned home, many women left their jobs, which created immediate employment opportunities for men. I made some of my decisions based off of the supernatural. I wanted to communicate with my mother, grandfather, and my predecessor spirits, along with many others. I did not have administration intervene. I believed the depression would pass by itself. I believe that no Jewish refugee should be accepted into the country, precisely why I bought acres of land so they would not live there. My greatest accomplishments were creating social programs, including unemployment, insurance, pensions, and welfare. Free Trade of America and I led Canada through World War II world, surviving the conscription crisis. My grandfather was considered a political rebel and at one point was exiled to the United States of America. After university, I joined the Federal Liberal Party. During World War II, one, I worked for the Rockefeller Foundation on labor research and served as an industrial counselor to the Rockefeller in interests. I studied law and economics at the University of Toronto and the University of Chicago. I believe my political achievements should not be overshadowed by my spiritual beliefs. I believe that people should just focus on the fact that I altered Canada in a time where it was difficult to govern. During the Depression, I negotiated trade agreements with the U.S. and Great Britain. However, the economic downturn in 1937 left the government with high relief costs and no economic response. We Liberals repeatedly pledged not to resort to conscription for overseas military service. As the war went on, more men were needed, so I asked the people to release me of my anti-conscription policies. My interest coincided with expansion in manufacturing and increasing tension with industrial relations. I acted as colonizer in a number of strikes and influenced the Industrial Disputes Investigation Act of 1907. We both possess, possess a yearning for insight into the hidden mysteries of life and the universe. This, these spiritual attitudes not only guided Candace's relations with Hitler, but gave me a comforting sense of helping him.